Adding decals to a model is a good way to add logos and touch screens to your visualized scenes without having to incorporate them into the model design. They function just like digital stickers and can be easily added to a part, moved around, and be directly applied to appearances. In this lesson, I'll go over how to add a decal to a project and apply it to a surface, as well as how to optimize it for curved surfaces stretching across multiple parts, and taking on appearances. Applying decals to a model like this one is a fairly simple process. Since the decals are applied like digital stickers directly onto a part, the main considerations are for the position of the decal. In this lesson, I'll add a racing number to this door, then move that logo to the hood, and finally add a visualized logo and apply a chrome appearance. I'll first add the racing number by going to the Appearances tab and selecting New Decal. I'll find the racing number file and notice that it's a PNG file. Using either PNG or TIFF file types with a transparent background will give the best results. I'll open the file and I can see the decal is added to the Decal section of the Appearances tab. I'll apply it just like an appearance by clicking and dragging it onto the door. The decal is much larger than I need, so to shrink it, I'll make sure the Material Selection tool is active, then enable the Move tool. I'll click the decal and a manipulator appears. The yellow center cube, arrows, and green circle are used to move the decal, while the red and blue cubes are used to scale it. Left-clicking either of the outer cubes will scale the entire decal, while a right-click on one of them will only scale it in that direction. Once the decal looks good, I'll zoom in and rotate the camera to view it from the side. Notice that the decal follows the exact curvature of the model. On this model, the curvature is mostly shallow, so it applied well. But on surfaces with drastic curvature, the decal can actually clip and distort. To show the effect and how to fix it, I'll make sure the decal is selected and in the Appearance tab, reduce the decal depth. Notice that the top and bottom of the decal are now cut off. When the curvature of the part is greater than the slider allows, this effect will occur, and can usually be solved by simply increasing the decal depth. For very complex surfaces, however, it can be better to make the decal a texture map and add it to the appearance instead. I'll increase the decal depth again. Then drag the decal to the center of the hood, and position it. Notice that while the decal appears on most of the hood, it doesn't appear on the stripes. Since decals are applied directly to a part, not to the model as a whole, in order to have the decal appear on the stripes part as well, I'll have to make the decal a multi-part decal. I'll make sure the decal is selected, and from the Appearances tab, I'll enable Multi-Part Decal to make the decal appear on the stripes. Even though decals are stored within the Appearance tab, they can actually have appearances applied to them. This can be useful for testing different appearances with different configurations or for adding more complex appearances like metals. When an appearance is added, however, the entire decal is treated as a single entity. So when I preview the matte black material by hovering over the decal, the entire decal becomes black. This can be frustrating, but by making a few design considerations when creating the decal, it can be extremely useful. To show this, I'll add the Visualize White logo. Apply it to the side of the model. Position it. And deselect it. 
Notice that it's solid white with a transparent background. Visualize applies appearances to decals pixel for pixel, so when an appearance is applied, any transparencies or fades from the original image will be preserved. It also blends the appearance with the decal color, so making it white allows for the best application of appearances. I'll apply the chrome material to the logo, And when I rotate the camera, you can see how it reflects the environment. If I had applied an emissive appearance and enabled the camera bloom filter, I could add a glowing effect to the decal. Adding decals to a model is simple, and by designing them specifically to be used with appearances adds even more flexibility and customization. Thank you.